Alright, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. It was only begun, Son, Yahweh Shah, man. And peace and blessings to you, beloved, in the new covenant. To the brothers and sisters, the Akim and Akwats, man. Alright. The virtuous daughters of Zion and the small remnant of believing Gentiles in the new covenant. So, in this video, I wanted to speak about righteous authority when it comes to dealing with the shawties, man. And it all ties into many, many things, you know, authority over spirits, authority over a lot of things mentally and spiritually, right? And it's something that I've had to learn over the years, obviously. We all have to learn this. But uh, as you can see on the screen, I found an old screenshot from 2012. All right, just to show y'all, this ain't nothing new in my world so i like i like to keep it raw keep it real because they know they know it's your life bringing this out but righteous authority man all right see i'm gonna be i'm gonna keep it 100 man i don't care how much so-called coochie or used up twat that you men have shared bro you you type of men don't possess the spirit of authority right Y'all don't see y'all claim to be alpha and all this other stupid stuff. There's only one alpha and omega, bro. Let's 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 establish that off top. And that's y'all problem. If you don't submit to the real alpha and omega, which is your how bar shimmy how you ain't you don't have authority. See, this girl right here, her name is uh Haleen, right? So I had women like this call me the boss, king, or whatever. And I only want it, I only want this type of stuff is a genuine, if it's genuine. Authoritative righteous men are protective. They're masculine. They're quiet. They don't take shit. They're not loud. They're not potheads. They don't dwell amongst crowds. They don't dwell in groups. Okay. Stuff that should be naturally, you know, embedded in brothers. Authoritative men are not controlling. They're not. They provide safe environments. When, when righteous men see a shawty, right, a ruby, they don't have this spirit to abuse them and crush them. They understand that this is a rose. This is a tender, delicate creature. She's emotional at times. Be patient. I know I have a big sister, little sister, stepmama, and a mama, and a bunch of women. So I know this firsthand. You dudes... You don't operate in, in the spirit of a prince, right? In the sense of, we look at a prince, right? That's an authority. He wants the best looking women, the best looking everything, not just any old thing. You dudes want anything. Authoritative men are, is, is not the most muscular, the most athletic, the best looking. That's not what I'm talking about. We talking about the spirit. You hear me? These type of men go through hell. They go through tribulation. And for the shawties, man, you know, if you do see this video, stay in the spirit and actually listen to what I'm saying. When you look at the King David's, man, King David had the look, looks, he had the spirit, and he was keeping the commandments. But guess what? He had enemies on all sides, right? He had enemies in it, probably in his own household, I believe, right? He committed adultery and murder, like just two things he was he was not supposed to do. But King David was the apple of Yahweh's eye. So not only that, he had favor from the God of the Israelites. Okay, he was anointed, as it says in First Samuel 16. And uh, obviously, an authoritative man, that same energy will tie into intimacy. As it tells you in the Zion of the Bible Dictionary, sex is holy, so you're authoritative, you humble her, you ravish her, but you don't break her loyalty, you don't break her heart. Righteous, authoritative men understand trust, they understand loyalty and boundaries, okay? We don't, I'm not finna sit up here and allow a woman, I don't care if she's a harlot or a virgin, you're not finna call me your nigga, don't even, you address me as K-Camp, Caleb. You can say, I mean, if you choose to, Lord, whatever you want to say, or 
collab, whatever you want to address me as. Do not address me as your nigga. You're going to put some respect on it. And that's just basic common courtesy. I'm not going to sit up there and call you my bitch. Now, if you acting like a bitch, I'm going to cuss you out. Anybody who grew, who grew up with me can tell you that. As introverted and as low-key as I am, you know, and as shy as I can be, I realize being, you have to, if you want authority in the spirit, you have to humble yourself. This goes, this type of power goes to humble men. Um, my own stepmother told me, you know, when I was a freshman in college, that I have a power with me, don't abuse it. And like the way she looked at me, I perceive that it, it has something to do with, you know, sex and the females. Cause I told her, I said, no, I, you know, I had females doing whatever, but I didn't tell her I was still a virgin or whatever. So she thinking like, I'm in college doing whatever. My cousin Lisey, she thinking that I'm just out here smashing and passing because I'm sleeping all day. And usually when you release, you sleep all day. So it's just a bunch of carnal nonsense. But they don't understand the amount of spiritual and mental hell and physical hell I was going through. We have to earn this type of. The Lord, I, I, and I'm saying this to the spirit. I think the Lord, the Heavenly Father, the God of the Israelites. Our description say he will prove you. Righteous, authoritative men have to be proven. They can, it's just like when you, 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 you have to be entrusted with this type of gift. Just like every 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 brother in the faith don't have the same office, they don't have the same lot, and that's for a good reason because most of you men, you can't be entrusted with this type of gift. Why? Because you're sexual deviants. You'll abuse it, and. The type of women, the Proverbs 31 women, the Proverbs 12 and 4 women, Proverbs 14 women, these type of females, whether they listen or not, um, if you're a controlling demon and feel like just because you the head that she's supposed to do everything you say. So if you tell a woman to go commit adultery, to go murder, well, I'm the head, I'm, I'm in control, you're supposed to. First of all, you have a shot would never tell a woman to go kill a man. See, you see, you dudes are so y'all don't know what authority really means. If a woman don't come to you naturally, like like if you not if you walking right, if she don't put her head down or you know give you those signs of attraction when when you're not even looking, or when you when you walking past her and she put her head down, that means you don't have you don't have the presence of authority you know what i'm saying righteous women likes that like that they love that 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 turns them on not just in a sexual way just in many ways more than possible it makes them feel protected it makes them feel compelled to listen to you because they know this man is not going to tell them anything how do i know because i have women tell me this themselves out of the horse's mouth i had a woman that was six feet tall. I'm only like five, seven, five, six and a half. Way shorter than her. She like six one, six two. But she still listens to me because of what authority? Righteous authority. Sophia, Elizabeth, they can tell you at the job I was protecting them from Karen's, pedophiles, deviants. Straight up. I was not playing that shit. The females hovering around me, right? Cause that's in my spirit. That's naturally in my spirit. Guys, I see myself as a prince or a king. And I know that comes with a great responsibility. Something a lot of you Israelite kind of crew, a lot of you Israelite men, you don't want to embody. All right. Okay. So righteous authority, again, having the ability to, uh, to teach or so-called put them on game while having discipline while bearing your own cross while being normal you know you're freeing their mind mentally you're freeing them from evil spirits authoritative men are not abusive they're not narcissistic they're not any of that but they don't take any shit they don't take we don't all that shit testing stuff is weird you know what i'm saying and righteous authoritative men we recognize a real woman from a distance we don't we don't have to be in the club or any of that to recognize a solid woman. You just don't have to. 
Righteous, authoritative men know how to have a conversation. They know how to talk, right? They're very observant. We're very observant, so we're very quiet, all right? We're not, we're not in the house all day smoking weed and, 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 you know, coming up with, you know, theories and ideology. Those are, y'all are not authoritative men. And some of y'all can take it how you want it. But I'm just keeping it a bean because a lot of these scallywags are using you, man, right? And y'all are y'all thinking y'all alpha and or they'll y'all say something stupid like, oh, that's just how the world is, and you know, you gotta get in the game and again you you read what you sow, bro. Alright. A lot of these women using y'all for you can say money, you can say your muscles, whatever it may be. Like, y'all don't understand how how crafty and evil women can be. See, a dude like me, I don't ever feel like I can be played. And if I do, I'm going to still be a G about it because I'm genuine. I'm sincere. You can, It's nothing a woman can do. And I've cried over one girl. But on some real stuff, it's nothing that you women can do to make me feel like anything. Because I'm going to just look at you like, what the hell are you doing? I'm looking for a queen, a princess. That's for me. That's it. Like all the other shit don't even count to me. Oh girl, I played him. Oh, I took his virginity. Do y'all do y'all not know how many? Let me tell you women something, bro. You may not see this video. This is 144. Check the time. The amount of you that lust over me secretly. Don't think I don't know. I know very well. I know very well. See, but I'm not stupid. I know y'all lust over other men too. So that doesn't really give me some type of validation. Now what it does confirm to me that I'm attractive, but that don't it don't count when y'all lusting over how I don't know how many men. See, righteous authoritative men understand that. Alright. So I'm a, I'm gonna be fair about it. And on top of that. Righteous, authoritative man when it comes to marriage understand that it'll come naturally, right? We, we desire a woman that's there mentally already. They have morals and, you know, they have the spirit. I'm not telling her to be perfect. I'm not telling her to know all the breakdowns. Righteous, authoritative men provide a safe environment, a righteous environment. A woman, a woman is not going to submit and not going to do all this other shit. If you don't feel safe and also a righteous authoritative man, he takes the beam and moat out of his own damn eye. All right. It's things that I have to work on, too. I'm not perfect, but see, I'd rather be I'd rather be humble towards Christ, bro. Come on, she up. The scriptures say the righteous are as bold as a lion. I had a woman at my job. She told me that, like, I have a spirit. I have the spirit of a koala, but I look like a lion. Um, but as a man thinks, so is he, man. Basically, she's saying, you know, you 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 think I'm you think I'm sweet. You think shit sweet? No, bro. I had a professor, all right, Miss Anderson, at uh, the University of Texas at San Antonio. She probably don't even work there no more, but. Bro, I was just giving her a basic, I wouldn't, I don't know if it was instructions or I was telling her something and she had, uh, yeah. she randomly commented. She said, damn, you're so authoritative. So I took that as like, she can feel my spirit, my aura. And in my mind, I don't be, de I don't really be deserving or I don't Man. deserve a lot of this stuff. Yeah, flow, I'd rather right? take the honorable yeah, low, the low road. Genuinely, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't like attention. I don't like that. But I know I don't want to, even if you're a harlot, I don't have this desire to see you getting effed up and to see you on your damn ass. I guess I have that big brother leadership role, right? But I get this from, again, the household on top of that dealing with just the weaker vessel in general. I never liked it. I never liked it since I was a, ch a child when women were just like, like every dude. I never liked. I never liked that shit. Never. Ex I never accepted it. So I always, I always stood out the way. Um. On top of that, 
you gotta, some, bro, when it comes to dealing with the wicked vessel in the body of Yahweh Shah, you gotta, you have to be authoritative because, like the scriptures say, a woman's mind is like snares and trap, traps. It's like, look, I'm not finna play this cat and mouse game with you. It's too much, life is too damn hard. And this walk is too damn narrow to be playing with your ass. Okay, I need you to be a shout. I need you to be on point. And I mean that in the most, most intimate way possible. Okay, because a righteous man is, he's not, dude, you, you women gotta understand the amount of spiritual and mental torment righteous men go through, or servants of Yahweh shall go through. We don't have time for that. Right? Righteous men are loving, righteous, authoritative men have compassion, they're patient. See, 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 even when you think you're playing us, see, we're gonna be a G about it. Straight up. But that shows us what type of woman y'all are. What type of person, forget a woman, what type of person you are. I'm looking at you like a goofy. You, you, you get over on trying to make people feel less than you. you no, that's a bitch. That's not, that's, that's, not what I'm, that's not what the scripture's talking about. Understanding a righteous, authoritative man. See, he, he, see, he gonna, when it comes to sex, bro. He gonna make sure that you're pleased in the most intimate, intense way possible when it comes to 1 Corinthians 7. He's not gonna wanna commit adultery. He's not gonna do these, he's not gonna do these things. He's not gonna be a whoremonger. He's gonna make you submit effortlessly. Like, we, like they don't, righteous authoritative men don't have to do anything. They can be broke. No car, any of this stuff. I know this from experience. Don't do not let these women tell you otherwise, bro. I had no car, no money, any of this stuff. I had women buy me food, whole meals, whether it was fast food, cook me burgers. And in my mind, I just saw it as a Lord using them to feed me because the scriptures say he feeds his servants. But I don't. Righteous authoritative men don't have this spirit to abuse that power because if you know like how I know when the Lord busts your goddamn head, especially when he lets you walk in the door, the punishment that we get will be way more severe. And it scares me just to even say this, but it'll it'll be way more severe than the wicked. Because the wicked they're gonna get destroyed. But a lot of you Jakes who you don't read Ephesians 5, you don't read the new covenant scriptures where it speaks about this type of stuff. Even Yahweh told his disciples, Christ told his disciples back then that I give you power and authority over what? Scorpions. But you got to believe a lot of you Israelites don't believe I not who later denied the Bible in the Lord. You Israelites don't believe you have that type of authority, man. Like, I don't, like, you don't fast, you don't pray or nothing, man. The type of people y'all hang around. Righteous, authoritative men, also, they don't, they don't hang in gangs in the military. That's not what we're talking about. See, see, I'm not talking about military-ass women either. We like feminine, feminine Feminine shawties, man. Women. Okay. And, and, and again, I'm taking myself out the picture. I'm just using myself as a testimony. Righteous, authoritative man, bro. It, it come with a lot of stuff, bro. But again, you know, we're, we're peaceful. All right. We don't. If you can bring us out of a shell some, from time to time, that's cool. Because honestly, I want to get back to the point where even in the spirit, if you have a shot, bless me with a squad or bless me with wives or a wife or some brothers I can just chill around and actually build with them, go out with them and build something. Like all this low level stuff, smoking weed, partying, all this, even this camp stuff. That's Dude, all that stuff is like out the window, man. All right, a righteous, authoritative man. You, you gotta, you gotta be entrusted. Y'all gotta be. You women, you women, you women gotta understand. 
you have to be trusted. Like it says in Proverbs 31, his heart safely trusted her. He got to be able to talk to you. We got to be able to talk to you, bro. I'm not going to be sitting up here dealing with a damn robot. Meaning, if we pillow talking and y'all go y'all go be a backbiter or you a tail bearer. Like just little stuff like that. Bro, you, if I can't trust you with that, then what, then what are we doing? It ain't go for it ain't go for it don't go for everybody. I'm just saying. But this but this type of spirit it only goes. What makes it special? It only goes to a few men, and that's and that's on purpose. Because it wouldn't be special. It wouldn't be rare. It wouldn't be of royalty if it was easy. If everybody could have it. Not to mention the Lord got to give it to you out of His will because that's what He sees fit. All right, you brothers and sisters, man, y'all tell me what y'all think, bro. Cause this is this is, come on, man. Even with miracle, bro, and the way she would look at me, like when I would speak, she would not interrupt. Her voice would become light. You know, she would give me this. Her physical, I can feel it in her spirit. Just this. It wasn't the first year; it was the second year. This uh, spirit of submissiveness, just like your, like your highness. Like one time we went from, she went from wanting to knock my block off to, I hit her stomach by accident one day and she looked at me like, like I wasn't the victim. Even this one time, it was a girl named Nada, right? I'm gonna give y'all an example. This is how you peep game too. This was when I was 14. It was a dude named Dominique. He slapped this girl named Nada, bald head, chicken, chicken run ass scallywag, bro. Now I'm sitting there like, you know what happened No, old girl literally walked ne walked up next to me and she was like oh my god that's so funny and i'm looking at her like what the like what out of all the out of all the women in this damn school you question mark i'm not expecting her to find something like that funny because again dominique had slapped uh nada or whatever whatever her damn name was right but what I noticed too, like her hand, her hand slowly grazed on my hand. Y'all, y'all already know where it's going, but I'm kind of looking like I see you though. You know what I mean? And and and, and <laughs> this happened a couple times. This happened last year, and this happened in 2013, where you know the females they were saying Caleb, you know, a little crazy. You know, he a little crazy at times, which I kind of I'm a little goofy. But I'm crazy in a righteous way. Like, like I'm very protective. I'm not abusive. I'm not controlling. But I just be one of the best for brothers and sisters, man. But um, but yeah, Patricia said I was crazy. Miracle said I was crazy. But just seeing that reverence and that submissiveness, it felt so natural. It felt so good. And I was like, bro, what is that? Like, like, that's amazing. Then I have a big sister and a little sister. So I'm getting coddled on one end. I'm getting authority. I'm getting favor on one end. And then I got a baby sister. I'm like 10 years older than. It's like, I'm, I'm getting hit with all three, beloved. All three. So a lot of brothers ain't had that. And I'm not talking shit with this type of office or this type of spirit. Whatever, whoever brother it is, it ain't just me. It's, it's, it's a few brothers out there that's like that. It's very safe, bro. It's not it's not paranoia. It's not murder, kill, drill, kill, drill, thrill. The Lord has different places for different brothers, man. And that's just what it is. All right. We got to this type of spirit. We like to feel safe, man. Like I said, I don't, I don't even feel safe with you dudes with guns, you women with guns. It's like, bro, y'all are too worried about men, bro. Y'all don't have y'all faith in the Lord. You hear me? All right. Righteous, authoritative men. On the flip side, we take care of our body naturally, not just for other women, but do it for yourself. Do it because you owe it to yourself as well. And do it because you want to do it, man. Like, it's a lot of things that come with this. All right. But authority is not 
uh, uh, this effeminate gangbanging shit or being a boss at your job. That's carnal stuff. That is not that's not going to make a righteous woman submit. That's that's stuff that the heathens and that the other nations respect because they go off of status. Like Christ said, that's not the same. You, you, you listen, if you're in a position of servitude and you still get reverence and honor and praise and women still call you Lord and King, that that's what counts. But anyways, man, I can go on all day, bro. Y'all see the screenshots, bro. Not being afraid to stand on your ten toes, having integrity, and not being afraid to be cast out. You got to sacrifice. All right. But most importantly, man, fear, fear your Yahweh Yahweh Shah, and love your Yahweh Yahweh Shah in the new covenant, bro. Like, it's that simple. But for the for the women, man, hopefully they was listening. Which it probably wasn't, but yeah. Again, protection, love, authority, not taking ish, and being emotion emotionally and spiritually stable first. The money and all that is gonna come, but emotionally and spiritually stable first. To a tender and delicate woman is very, 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 very important. They go for me too. Okay. Because you niggas, y'all have issues. Y'all have demons. And you scallywags too. So anyway, man. Peace and blessings and shalom.